This is good for you. All these three things in my hands are good for you to eat, especially according to lots of nutritional guidelines all around the world, like the American Heart Foundation. What have we got here? We've got healthy source of proteins, beans, and we've got here zero sugar in this soft drink here, so we're not gonna be eating sugar. And of course, the best thing here, vegan mayonnaise. We don't want any of those unhealthy saturated fats and eggs. This one's made of a nice healthy canola oil as the first ingredient. That is what you wanna eat right there. That's how you be healthy according to government guidelines. So if that's all you wanna know, that's where the video ends. That's good. And I'm sure a lot of you probably enjoy stuff like that. So go ahead, that's healthy. Except it's not. This stuff here is all complete bullshit when it comes to health type stuff. Let's start with, I mean, let's start with this one because you probably know it's unhealthy, but you probably don't know how unhealthy this actually is. So when drinks are flavored with artificial sweeteners, artificial sweeteners are almost always unhealthy. You've got old school ones that people probably know, um, aspartame, I think it's called. That's like old ones. But this one's got a bit more of a modern one. It's not really modern, but phenylal, uh, how to pronounce this correctly? Phenylalanine. That's what it's got right there, phenylalanine. This particular sweetener is positioned as a good healthy alternative, good health alternative. But in a very small study, and there's a few other ones to correlate these, they found that high doses of phenylalanine actually counteracts the effects of high sodium hypertension. So most people would take that as good and you'd be like, oh, that's good. It's gonna bring the sodium levels down so you don't get hypertension from high sodium levels. But what happens if you don't have the high sodium levels, which you really shouldn't if you're healthy, and you just drink this directly? If you just drink this directly, it still brings your salt down in your body. Drinking high doses of phenylalanine, which you find in a lot of these zero sugar drinks, actually can devastate the salt stores in your body, which is an essential mineral that you need for your body to function. Salt is, of course, one of the major electrolytes, and the main form of function in your body is to help your body store water. So that is not something you want. It's doing the exact opposite to the results you actually want from this. It obviously won't hydrate you. It'll just devastate you entirely. But you should have already known that because this stuff's usually crap. But let's look at something healthier. We got these two left, healthier. Let's finish with the, this one. We'll start with this one, chickpeas. This is a bean, of course, but a bean is just a seed. And seeds of plants is where you find the highest defense chemicals in the plant. The plant has defense chemicals to stop you from eating it because every part of a plant, whether the leaves or the seeds or the bulbs, which are obviously vegetables, all those aspects are what the plant wants to keep intact. It doesn't want those destroyed. So it can survive and keep itself together and grow as it wants to grow. The main thing that plants want to be eaten from themselves is of course fruits, because the seeds within the fruit, it wants you to eat the fruit and leave the seed essentially. That's the way plants are designed. If you're straight eating the seeds, this stuff is not going to be good for you. The defense chemicals are one because that's high toxins in your body. The further thing about chickpeas, high doses of anti-nutrients, which I already talked about with the toxins, and of course, polyunsaturated fats, which people try and avoid uh, saturated fats, you're gonna get a version of that in this, polyunsaturated fat. Polyunsaturated fat, what it does is it turns rancid inside your body just because of the high temperatures inside your body. So is that something you really want in your body? I mean, when it comes to information like that, there's a lot of research out there that I can go into much more detail. I'm trying to keep this really simple because a lot of you watching this won't really know that depth of stuff. So I'm trying to keep the video very simple. Make sure you leave in the comments if you want me to go into depth about any of these particular products or information I'm talking about, if you want more information about that, because it goes a lot further than just the base level. And you probably think uh, this sort of stuff's good for you. Like we got, you know, no sugar, vegetables. And of course we're about to get to this one now. This one right here, vegan mayonnaise. And it's not just the mayonnaise that's a problem. All these vegan processed foods are usually comprised of one major product, which could, in some cases of the meat products, it's like soy, which isn't going to be good, but one of the major products is always these seed oils. This one, main ingredient, canola oil. So seed oils is like what we talked about for the chickpeas, but it's going even more in depth. That's just obviously the seeds of the plant that have been squeezed out to get the oils. And from most people's perspective, you're gonna say that's pretty healthy because it's a natural plant and you've squeezed the oils out of it. But 
If you knew the process that seeds go through, then you wouldn't be saying the same thing because just squeezing the oil isn't enough. If you just take the oil directly, a lot of it has really bad color, really bad smell. So it needs to go through processes. They put it through multiple heating processes to both um, deodorize it and change the color of it because you wouldn't want some black toxic smelling sludge as your oil that you use to cook with or mix into stuff like this. You want a nice clear yellow liquid that doesn't have a smell to it. So they take it through the deodorization process or changing the color process in order to create something that you think is good for you because people tell you that seed oils are a healthy alternative to not getting high doses of saturated fat from animal products. But even though saturated fats are completely essential for your body and it's what you've built your body off from the past thousands and thousands of years of human existence, people want to bring new stuff in in the past hundred years of seed oils and think that's going to be good for you. But the research shows it's definitely not. And vegan products are massive when it comes to this stuff. This vegan mayonnaise, for example, being canola oil, it doesn't say the percentages on here, but back when I was vegan, I did research this stuff, and most of the time, this stuff is usually about 96 to 98% of just the oil. So you're basically just eating oil there mixed with a couple of flavorings. Whereas opposed to regular mayonnaise, still isn't good. Regular mayonnaise usually is egg and oil blended together. So mayonnaise in general probably isn't gonna be it, but vegan mayonnaise, you definitely don't want, and that goes for basically every single vegan processed product. Not really something you want to be eating, but like I said, you probably think this stuff's healthy. So you can have your uh, Coke Zero and your vegan mayonnaise and your chickpeas, but that's not the way you want to eat. If you want further information about this, I can go into far more detail. I kept it as simple as possible. Make sure you leave that in the comments because I know that a lot of people don't know anything close to this information. If that's something you want to know, make sure you let me know. Otherwise, I've got some different videos coming up. Make sure you're subscribed for that and I'll see you on the next video.